guys. We're so excited to finally be in our farmhouse and show it to everyone. And we have enjoyed really paring down and we're, we're, we're learning a lot about minimal living and taking up less space. And I can't wait to show you some of the things we've done so far. It's always a journey. This to the left is our small little guest room. It has a dresser and a bed and a nightstand. And this is our measuring stick that a, de a dear friend um, made for Will and Jeannie and made one for us as well and she paints them and we are gonna hang um, our measuring stick in our house out here. And that's it. And we have a turtle that lives in the guest room too. And here is our living room. It's one room. We actually had to put this beam in and hoist up the back of the house. There was nothing in this house. It was not livable. We did all the sheetrock ourselves. We... And this, this was a wall. Yes. So that, that... We, knocked, we knocked down walls. We, we did the floors. There's original floors in the kitchen, but we did the rest of the floors. We did ourselves and it was a great project and we we um we so we have one living area and we have not gotten furniture yet for it but we're getting there kita has her furniture she's all settled in um yeah so we're looking for a little simple couch and table and this is it let's look at uh skyland's art closet would you like to show them that this is under the stairs, girls love crafts, so we had to make that a priority space. And then right over here is the kitchen. We And here is our measuring stick. Skyland was right here on the sixth. Daddy's right here. I haven't been measured yet. But this is a special, special gift from a very special friend. And we decided, yes. We are surrounding ourselves in this house with just really, really special things, not a lot of clutter. Um, we have given so much to charity and goodwill, and it, it is so refreshing to have simplified stuff. Um, why do we need all the candlesticks and all the blankets and all the, it's just been all oh, so amazing to purge and just surround ourselves, even with the things on the walls. Like this was um, very important things to me. Uh, that's a letter that I wrote to my father who is deceased and that's a picture of him. He loved to ride horses and I just made sure we, we both, we both, all three of us made sure that whatever we put in here, it was very, very sentimental. And that's Johnny's grandfather's truck, um, he was a truck driver, so we have a picture of his grandfather over there. So we knocked down this wall. This was a wall that I can't remember if you could hardly, it was just a teeny little wall. This was the only hallway. Yeah, it came out, so we opened that up. We were able to keep the original floors in here. Um, we The washer and dryer room was, we had to completely gut it out and I love having a washer and dryer in my kitchen. Um, I'm sure that's not aesthetically pleasing to other people but I love it. Um, is this, the washer? this is kind of where we do everything and I have two drawers in my kitchen and this is I just purged everything. Um, like these are all my forks and spoons <laughs> and it feels great. Um, I have some serving utensils and That's all. I have just very few stuff. Um, I, I really felt so, you know, I have, I think I have five coffee cups now and I love having five coffee cups. I can, I can remember we had a, uh, when we were in a rental house before we bought this farm, the dishwasher was out and I kept thinking to myself, if I have, the more dishes I have, the more I have to wash and it was just, ugh. So, I do have a dishwasher here and, but I don't have a lot of, there's not, it's just 
very simple things. And this is one of my drawers is for utensils. These are kitchen towels and then that's it. Those are the two drawers. This is our pantry and that's all we have. Um, we love it. We keep cups here. We have mason. I'm a huge believer in mason jars. I think you can use them for everything. Even vases. I just realized I used that for a vase. We live closer together. And, and I know it's not for everyone, but it really, we love it. So, and I can do my laundry. And I know when it's finished. And it's right here. So let's go show upstairs. Oh, here's Skyland's spelling words. This is kind of a, like I said before, I really wanted to make sure that I, what, what I put in this house had a meaning to me and, or Johnny or Skyland. So this is a, a friend of mine sent this across in, in, in a, a beach in North Carolina. And this is a thank you card that the boys wrote Johnny when Johnny and I first started dating. These are Skyland's spelling words for the week. One of my favorite things about this house that we, at first I was kind of like, oh my gosh, what if we all got sick at the same time? We have one bathroom and it has turned out to be absolutely wonderful because that's one bathroom I have to clean and that's it. And so again, this doesn't work for everyone, but it's great for us because we just, we kind of live close together. So here is our bathroom. And um, this is my spot. And we... <laughs> it works. It's great. We have... Johnny and I actually made this. Johnny made this. We stirred it. You stirred it. <laughs> it's cement. And um, this is it. This is all. We have our first aid kit, which is really important. This is the first aid kit that we bought when Will and Nash and Hayes... Well, when I first started dating Johnny, he got made this for me. Um, because, of course, the boys were constantly getting hurt and I was the only one who got hurt when I we was have hurt. kept it well, was... since 2003 and it means a lot to me it reminds me of the boys and we we use it all the time and boy we don't use it as much as we did when they when they lived here full time so but it's great I love that so I can keep everything in there and you know if you have the little ones you can lock get it locked up and it's just we purge in the medicine ch cabinet was felt so good too <laughs> so this is our one shower Very comfortable. and we love it yeah. now let's go show them upstairs my room first we'll show them your room first no, my horse first. this is actually a picture that you can see in this mirror johnny made this mirror too this is a picture I took of the three boys. Um, they were three, five, and seven at the time. Will's so tall, he looks 10 there. But Johnny made that for me. He made that for me on, believe it or not, grocery bags. He cut it out and glued it onto grocery bags. And that is my, like one of my favorite things ever. So again, I threw away so much stuff, but obviously that's, Something I will cherish forever. This was my saddle when I was a little girl. And Santa got the saddle refurbished. And this is a, hopefully we're gonna have this on a real horse. So up here we had we had to redo you know everything. Um, the floors are original. The we did the ceilings ourselves. You know we had we had somebody help us do the ceilings, but we had to put in heating and air. There was no heat, no air. Um, and this is Skyland's room, and she did a lot of purging too, and it, and that's been great. She gave a lot to. I was very proud of her. I think one thing that's been been really eye-opening for all of us is you know when you when you pare down you realize what it feels good yes but what really is important to you and it's almost like when you're cluttered with so much stuff you can't find out what's important because you're so overwhelmed with everything this has been really good because now we're 
we just really know what, what's important and what we will cherish forever. So let's go see our bedroom. We knocked down walls in there too. Okay, here's the linen closet and I love this. Um, actually, it didn't even have shelves, so we just put up some shelves and we have bath, you know, lake and pool towels and then we have Black bath towels and, and Black we towel. just got rid of blankets and, you know, why do we need 20 towels? We don't need 20 towels. We need two. <laughs> no, we need more than that, but it was just, okay, this is too much, too much, too much. So this feels great. And this is kind of my little corner. Um, uh, I don't get ready in the downstairs bathroom because it's obviously not very big. So I have this little corner where I have my makeup and my hair stuff, whatever you know I use to get ready in the mornings. And then this is kind of my, my corner of, of gratitude. I painted this in LA. Skyland and I did at Nash and Hayes' house um, when we were in LA for something. And then this is a picture that Johnny took of me years ago. I don't, um, yes, it was a horse that had, had kind of a broken spirit, so that just means a lot to me. And then obviously my family. This is one of very important picture of Will. Um, and this is the whole family together and then I have my dream board down here where I can I look at things that are important to me and I and I honor that and then I just I, we just got rid of so much stuff so we are we have a dresser with clothes and that's it we had a big wall right here that we knocked down and we don't have closet doors yet but we have we're thankful we have a closet and this is I think I need to do a little paring down with my clothes because I really don't wear a lot of them, but I just haven't had time to do that. Thanks for visiting and seeing the farmhouse. I would love to hear some of your minimal ideas. Comment below and make sure you subscribe. I think that is such a, a cool thing I'm learning every day and I would love to learn more. So if you want um, to share your comments below, that would be great. We would love to see what you guys do. Thanks for visiting us.